Meg, when I see you and other runners warming up, I see you guys skipping along the track or on the roads, wherever you happen to be. What are the types of skips that you include in your warm up? Some of the skips that we include in the warm ups are the A skip, which is just try, trying to get that knee as high as possible and land with foot. Mm -hmm. and the B is be able to up high and extend the leg, mm -hmm. so it'll land with the foot. And C is kind of trying to do it about 45 degree, degree angle. A is straight up, B is extending, and then C is be able to get 45 degree on your hips. So you'll be able to move. If, if anybody gets in front of you, and then you have to go this way, then you already have trained it versus, you know, what is this, and then strain a growing or something. And what's the idea of moving in three different planes? The idea of moving three different ways is to be able to move, strengthen the muscles mm -hmm. of the, the, the three different angles. And then that way you'd be able to, if anything happens, all of a sudden, you're not, you know, not going to pull something. Okay, and when you do the skips, how many do you do and for how long in your warm-up? When I do them, the drills are about 10 to, 10 to 15 meters, uh, meters long. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, how, long, how often? I do them six days a week usually. And, you know, after my run usually is what I do them and uh, just it's a habit you know it's like almost when you wake up doing the brushing your teeth right. this is when you run and you finish or you put that in you know I know everybody can do it but if you can do it maybe once a week or twice a week it's gonna help you greatly all right those are some great tips on skipping be sure to check out other training videos on competitor.com